Hello, it's mid-September, so I'm preparing my cacti for the winter est. So I've decided to do a tour of my cactus plants because there have been some requests to show all my collection. So I'm granting the wishes of my viewers. And there will be a separate video about my epiphytic cacti. And also let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to do a tour of all my other succulents. So most of my cactus uh, plants have labels, but I've noticed that some of the labels have faded out or they are not really legible. Uh, so I've got another task ahead of me for winter. Which is fine because usually in winter there's not much to do around the uh, plants. So I'll be occupied with making new labels. So whilst cleaning and tidying up, which I may, I think, do another video about how I prepare my plants for winter. I've decided to put them in crates according to the genus. So here you can see mammillarias. So I've got two crates of mammillarias. Some of them with fruits or berries with seeds and some still have some flowers. And this one is one of my favorite one. It's um, Arizona snowcap because it does look like it's covered with snow. And if you see an um, cactus that you couldn't read the name of which, or uh, you may have in your collection and you didn't know what it is, what it is just let me know what the uh, timestamp is uh, in my video and I will answer in your comment. And just a quick reminder that you can find me on Instagram. And probably you may remember this one, Mamilaria, Mamilaria Painteri, which was a victim of slag. <laughs> but it's doing fine. And this Mamilaria I bought specially for flowers because they are quite big for Mamilaria. But so beautiful, wouldn't you agree? Now here I've got some Kleistocactus. It hasn't flowered yet for me. So there's a bit of mishmash now on the trays. And this one's commonly known as pen Penis Cactus. And here we've got Polaski. I like the colors, two tones of the, it's like a green and a bit of a splash of white paint. Well, it, this is what it looks like to me. And uh, a few columna cacti. So some of them I've got just individual species of um, particular genus. To be honest, I prefer small globular uh, or trailing cacti. And I will link some other videos up at the bath and there will be some more as well in the description box. Because I can only put five links up above. So this one I hasn't noticed any uh, or significant growth on it. To me it looks like the same as it was before. And here we've got a tray of Tephrocactus. So I've already made a video about my whole collection where you can see the proper names and also you can then compare what they look like when I made my previous video and to what they look now. Because some of them have really grown. They haven't flowered yet for me. And also in the videos like a spotlight of different genuses 
I talk more about those plants and I show the flowers as well, so do check it out. Some of us. And here you can see there's something growing. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like, like some kind of succulent. Well, maybe next year I will find out. And I've got four stainer cactus, or they are also called brain wave cactus for obvious reasons. As you can see, the bud is, the ribs are quite wavy. And they bloomed really nicely. And here a few parodias that I've got. This one and the next one they flowered for me this year. Uh, not this one. And here we've got a size or a Rosice and a new porcheria. So again I made a video about uh, this genus. So if you are interested in it, have a look because you will see some beautiful flowers. And as you can see, each of them is different. And the colors and spines, or they might be spineless. This one has got some wool. It's interesting. And also I invite you to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button or bell so you will know where the new video is uploaded. Oh, here it's a number one cactus, which I don't have ID for. So if you know what it is, please let me know in the comments section. Also like this video and share with other hobbyists. Let's move on now to Lobivias in my collection. So as you know, from my unboxing videos, I bought a few Medio Lobivias this year as well. And I like this genus because they, if they flowers are quite big and stunning colors. Again, I made a video about them. So let me know in the comments which plants you liked, which plants you have in your collection, or maybe you can recommend some cacti to me, what you think that I might be interested. Let me know the names. And here it's another beautiful bloom. It's the second bloom of the season from this Lobivia. And here we've got those new additions to my collection. So now a few uh, notocacti. So this one bloomed for me two years ago and since then it hasn't. I'm not sure why. Mm, nothing has changed in its cultivation really. Sometimes it happens I guess. Oh I like those rusty colored spines. And here is one capoproya. I don't know how to pronounce properly, and it's from a Catherine of Peters and Thorns, so it's doing really well, I think. And here I'm trying to show you if there is a new pub there, but I'm not sure of the you can see it clearly, to be honest. And my favorite monkey tail. And you can see there is a um, bud. 
uh, a few spent flowers but there's still two buds there so in fact there are three buds which we we'll see if they are going to develop um, because as I said it's mid-September when I took these photos okay some Camaterius some peanut cactus they had really nice red and kind of cherry color flowers and this one I bought in Morrison's it's um, Camaserios and now we are moving on to Rebusia and Salca Rebusia again uh, I find them easy to cultivate and they flower the flowers are beautiful and they easily flower as well and I think this one Povinos and the next one I will need to report next year because the <laughs> They are getting a bit too big and too cramped in their pots. And that one, every year it produces a bud, but then it just uh, dies off. I'm not sure why. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know again in the comment box. And if you are a regular viewer of my content, you know that I love Gymnocalisium, so no surprise there that there's quite an extensive number of them in my collection. I just love them. They are so beautiful, each one is different, there's such a variety of them. Look at the spines, shorter, longer, different pattern, and also the body light green, dark green, like a grey colour and they produce flowers quite easily as well. Look at those spines, aren't they marvellous? Just love them. As I said, have a look in the description box because last year I did a two-part video with the names and the flowers of Gymnocalisium. And obviously since uh, since last year uh, I acquired quite a lot of <laughs> new plants. So some of them you may notice um, a sign of sunburn because we had such a beautiful summer this year with long weeks of scorching heat and even I tried to cover them up you just can see that they got burned a bit we've got some parodia so I usually buy my plants online as you know from my unboxing videos also um, at the meetings of local branches of British Society of Succulents and Cacti and also in any supermarkets or garden centers and this um, cereals is going back home for winter but the rest uh, of the cacti will stay in the greenhouse and this one is so-called uh, Mothers-in-Law Armchair and it has grown massively and I'm not looking forward to reporting it next year but I've already made a video how to report prickly cactus so do check it out and I love this plant look at those gorgeous flowers and the spines on it oh, they're just fierce and this year it produced four flowers last year there were five so I'm, I'm hoping it's not a pattern that next year I won't I will get only three and here we are back to gymnocalisiums so it's another tray love them and this one is from Cactimania 
So it's a bit sun stress now with us, but I think it's uh, doing nicely. So it's been a while since I've done a collection tour. I hope you are enjoying my collection. It's not the biggest one, but not the smallest one. And I also managed to buy from my Facebook shop Variegated Gymnocalisium Mihanovici Mihan So if you're interested in buying some, there is a link to my shop in the description box. And uh, for Gymnocalisium colorful variegated gymnocalisium left and they are on sale right now. Now we are having a look at Astrophytum and as you know I love this genus. There's such a again variety, they are so versatile and you can see yes, the spineless, the colors of them and you've got of many ribs and this one in particular is my favorite one it's just gorgeous on Zuka. and when you look uh, from above at them they do resemble stars hence the name Here you can see more spines and whilst filming that tour, I noticed that that one on the right has got some buds, but they will fail to develop any further because we don't have much light and it's almost the end of the season. And it's a shame because this particular astrophytum hasn't flowered for me. <laughs> this one has got a bad hair day or bad spine day. <laughs> They're all over the place. And here beautiful markings on Astrophytum asteris. some extra ribs and that one <laughs> Medusa always cracks me up because to me it doesn't look at all like astrophytum or let alone <laughs> cactus and here we've got as well Moroya and Freya and again you, uh, you've already seen uh, this one so moving on to another tray. So here we've got a selection of um, Echinocereus and Echinopsis. So uh, uh, apart from one, I've just one Echinocereus bloomed for me, but the rest hasn't, haven't yet. And it was this one with kind of green colored leaves. Uh, flowers, sorry. And here there's one Echinopsis from Claire and before I forgot to mention there was one Mammillaria from Claire of Cactus Cove. So those plants, Claire, if you're watching that, they are doing fine. And again, I had a few which flowered for me and uh, some which are with pups. So here you can see the wilted flower. Mm -hmm. 
And another plant that I don't have a positive ID yet. So again, if you know what it is, let me know. Those two, that one, have, uh, it's uh, some kind of um, clay cactus. And this next one coming up, they are again from Wiltshire BCSE meeting. Also check a marketplace on Facebook because you can get some plants there as well. And here we've got three matucanas. I had another one, but it fell victim of a bad infestation of mini, so I had to throw, throw it out. It was beyond rescue. And I'm going to keep them this year in a greenhouse, like a lane of deserts of Avalon. Uh, last year I brought this one back home and it hasn't flowered. So hopefully this year or after this year it will. And another plant that I don't have ID, so if you recognize this plant, let me know in the description box. And one more, a beast, a beast, this is a beast one. Look at this, those spines sticking out of the hair. <laughs> that was the very first plant that I got uh, from my... Uh, BCSE meeting. And here just a quick glance of seedlings that I got from Cactimania. Thus. So I think they they are doing really nicely. They, I keep them in the house under the grow light. And there are some unrooted uh, pups of Echinopsis that I bought and I'm rooting there as well. And last but not least, there are a few plants that featured in my video about natural ways or how to protect plants from pests, so do check it out, this film. And I hope you enjoyed this tour and bye!